Hi, this is Douglas at PCC, and you're watching the PCC Phone Notes training video. We're going to take a call, create a phone note, and work with tasks and other messaging features to follow up on that call. When the phone rings in your office, you can follow these steps to handle the call. First, grab the patient's chart. You can search for them uh, by their name right up here in the patient finder. Actually, I sometimes just put the phone number in here if I see it on the caller ID. That's mom's cell phone number. Uh, here are all the patient records that have that phone number somewhere in the chart, and I'll open up Pebbles Flintstone. Okay, I've got the chart open, and to make a new phone note, I'm going to go down here to the buttons at the bottom and click Add Phone Note. Here's my new phone note for Pebbles Flintstone. Your practice can customize this phone note protocol and decide what you want to see on it. My practice put the Recent and Upcoming Appointments component right up here at the top, uh, this is super handy when I'm talking to mom or dad about the patient. I've got details of the last appointment, information about uh, their last physical, or when their next physical is due. You'll see a contact component, and then a place to put in a subject and phone note text with tasks down below. Under that, we've got some other tools like appointments. So, okay, I'm going to start with this contact component right here. PCC EHR fills out my name. I'm pretending to be Nurse Henry right now. I end the time of the call automatically. I can change them if I need to. When I enter the caller's name, PCC EHR actually helps me fill it out. I start typing, and then I can just press the down arrow to pick from a list of contacts. PCC EHR keeps a list of this patient's contacts right here. Okay, I can fill the rest of this out, um, but I'm going to start chatting with the family or the patient right away. And while I'm doing that, I might refer to other sections of the chart. Uh, over here on the left, I've got chart navigation. So if I needed to check their immunization record or details from a visit in the visit history, I'd go over here to the history. Or I could click on PCC ERX down here to renew a prescription. The phone note stays over here at the bottom of the navigation bar, so I can jump back easily. Okay, I'm going to take notes about the conversation I'm having. I'm also going to enter a subject. This is important. It makes the phone note easy to spot later. You know, I'm more or less done with my part of this phone call. I, I, if I answered the questions, everything would be all done. Uh, but let's pretend that the doctor needs to call mom back. So what am I going to do if this is going to require a call back and, and then get this question answered? Uh, first, I would definitely double check up here. I've got to make sure I know the return number. I might ask the parent that. PCC EHR actually keeps track of all the numbers we've ever used before for the patient. Okay, so how do I make sure a physician is going to see this note and answer this question? There's two ways of doing this. Over here, you'll see the needs to be signed by field. Uh, I could pick a provider right over there. I could use that if I'd already answered all the questions, uh, the family is all set, but the physician needs to review that this note happened. When you fill this field out, the phone note will show up on the physician's signing queue. But in this case, this phone note is going to need a callback. Uh, we need a physician or maybe a nurse to call back the family. So I'm going to use the tasks tool right here. Tasks work the same in PCC EHR on phone notes, on orders. You're going to see them in a lot of places. So I'm going to select a task, and optionally I can assign a specific person at the practice. In this case, uh, for whatever reason, Dr. Casey needs to call them back. But you can use tasks for anything. Uh, maybe the patient needs a referral or an appointment and I'm handing this message off to someone. If your practice uses user groups, like a nurse user group, you might be selecting that here in the To field instead. Now, I could add a note for the task if I need to. Uh, and if nobody needs to see this task until after a certain date, I could put a due date in here, like if we need to call them back in two months. Now, in some cases, I may complete the task myself right away, uh, but I'm going to click Save and Exit to save my phone note in the new task, and I'm ready for the next call. Whoops, I forgot to add a detail. No problem. I'll grab the patient's chart. Uh, this, this little menu gives me the 10 most recent patients. And open the history. And here, all the patient's encounters are down here at the bottom. All visits, all phone notes. Uh, there's today's phone note. I'll just open up that phone note. 
and I can add any details I missed. Okay, so as Nurse Henry, I took that call and I created a phone note task. What happens next? First, I'll log in as Dr. Casey. There are lots of ways to follow up on a patient's outstanding tasks. In fact, if I just open their chart, the outstanding tasks component tells me anything that's outstanding for the patient. However, there are faster ways to get to the phone notes you need to reply to. Across the top of PCCEHR, I see these tabs. I see the one for today's schedule, a visit tasks queue, an e-lab results queue, and so on, all the way to my signing queue at the end. The messaging queue has all my incoming messages. On this tab, I'll see my phone note tasks. Now, I could be a doctor or a nurse or a front desk staff, whomever. If someone takes a call and assigns a task to me, I will see it here on this queue. Also, if mom or dad send the office a message from the patient portal, that will show up on the messaging queue as well. Every day, someone at your practice watches this queue to make sure communication happens. It's like working the phones. In many practices, the most common use for the messaging queue was phone note tasks like recovering today. But it's starting to shift to patient portal messages instead. Mom or dad would much rather send you a question on their smartphone than give you a call. As with other cues, I've got filters on this screen down at the bottom, which allow me to hone in on what I'm supposed to be working with. I can show all tasks, or I could limit it to just a certain type of tasks and messages. Maybe I'm on portal message duty today. Since I'm pretending to be Dr. Casey, I should probably set this filter down here just to me, and then save my defaults over here so I don't have to see anyone else's tasks but mine. Okay, I'm ready to make my phone callbacks, and I've got one right here at the top. Uh, for each item on this list, I'd see a summary of the phone note, the details, and that subject field so I can prioritize my callbacks. I'll double-click on this phone note to open it up. PCC EHR opens up Pebbles Flintstone's chart and then pops me right into the phone note and right into the task down here that's assigned to me. Okay, so I can review the details that Nurse Henry entered for the phone note, uh, like the actual note text right up here. The task I need to complete is very simple, call back needed, right here. So using this screen, I'll call the family back. I've got the contact information and the phone number they wanted right up here at the top. I can also use chart navigation over on the left, and I can add additional notes right here if I want to. Now, since my practice can customize what appears on the phone note, we decided to add more useful components. I've got the patient's appointment history right now, and by the way, right from here I could reschedule or cancel one of these visits. I've got that outstanding tasks component again, so I can see anything outstanding. Oh, it looks like they've got a lab that's still waiting for results. Down at the bottom, we also added account balances. Your practice could also add a patient's medication history. You could add the portal users component, so you could get them signed up for the patient portal. Anything that's useful for you when you're on the phone with the patient or the family. Okay, when I'm done completing my tasks and entered any notes I needed to, I will mark this task as completed. As soon as I save, this task will be removed from the messaging queue. So, if I've got several nurses working their way down all the items on the messaging queue, this one will disappear. It's all done. But I'm going to take us back in to show you one more thing. There's that phone note right in the visit history, and I can open it up and edit it again. I completed that first task, but maybe there's an additional task or that another staff member needs to complete. Maybe a referral needs to happen, or they need to be scheduled, or something else. I can click down here to create another task on the phone note. Great. Now Nurse Amanda is going to know this patient needs an appointment, and she'll make that call. So as you can see, anyone in your practice can take a call, enter notes, and then create tasks for other users at your office to complete. Nurses, doctors, staff members can work off the messaging queue and create a series of tasks to make sure the family's needs are addressed. Phone notes and messaging features in PCCEHR ensure that with just a few clicks, every call to your practice is logged in the patient's record and the patient gets the care they need. You can work with your PCC client advocate to customize the phone note protocol and make other configuration changes. We could also train your staff and help you implement your practice's new procedures. If you'd like a written version of everything you saw in this video, visit learn.pcc.com. Thanks for watching.